Hey, Marcy, thank you so much. I have the honor today to uh, introduce our next, our VIP speaker, uh, the meat and potatoes, why we're all here today, um, Cindy Williams. Um, I consider Cindy a friend and I respect her so much. It's kind of hazy exactly when we first met, but I, I, in my mind, in my constructed memory, it was at a global conference and Cindy was leading an exercise class that may or may not have happened, but it probably did. You know, Cindy, uh, represents the best of everything to me in life, business, and Shackley. I know when I was trying to up my fitness game, I would check out your best life with Cindy, her Instagram handle, early in the morning in California. And by that time, Cindy had already been up at like 5 a.m. and like been motivating the whole world. And she motivated me as well. I also had the incredible opportunity of attending the, uh, well, I was planning the uh, Machu Picchu top achievers trip in 2017 and got to know Cindy and her husband Troy a little bit more and what I really admire about Cindy is that she is living out loud but she is bringing people with her she is biased towards action uh, she has goals she's getting it done and she is going to have a great time doing it so without any further ado please put your hands together in the chat and help me welcome key coordinator in qualification Cindy Williams Hey guys, thank you so much, Chris. Gosh, I was like tearing up when you were saying all that about me, but thank you. I feel very similar to you as well. So thank you guys so much for inviting me to this call. It's always such an honor to speak to the field. Uh, I always look forward to learning from other leaders as well. So thank you, Kathy, Jeff, Kevin, and Marcy for hosting these Mission Possible calls every single week. Um, love the consistency of that because they really are so super impactful to my business and also my team's business. So thank you so much for that. All right, you guys, so promise me you'll never stop learning. Um, some of you know, and some of you may not know that my grandparents were actually 40 year Shackley distributors. So I started my business three years after my grandma Bernice passed, which I really wish I would have started sooner. Um, but she was an incredible wellness influencer. And at any given moment, she had stacks of pamphlets and books about holistic health right next to her reading chair. I mean, right out there in the open. And she constantly, constantly shared what she was learning with us um, and, you know, to whoever would listen, right? We all, we all know how that goes. But she was also one of the first to introduce olive oil to our family when everybody was using vegetable oils. And she was experimenting with gluten-free cooking like 40 years ago, you guys. That is because of her Shackley family and the people she chose to surround herself with. And she chose to level up year in and year out and share that knowledge. And so she was an incredible influencer in her own way. And she never stopped learning. And just like Danelle Delgado said last week, she never feels old because she's constantly learning and growing. Can I get an amen on that? I think that's such a powerful statement and one I took away um, last week from Danelle's training. So, all right, you guys, get up and grow. This is my year of growth. Did you guys hear that? I just affirmed it's my year of growth. So I want to ask you, do you speak affirmations? Like they are so powerful because the body achieves what the mind believes. So if you're telling yourself that the next rank is too hard to reach or no one is going to join your team, you are absolutely 100% correct on that. Like, a hundred percent, a thousand percent, but negative self-talk will legit sink you in this business. So your energy is everything. You guys, Ralph Emerson once said, nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. Let me repeat that. Nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. Such a powerful statement. You have got to look like you're having fun and actually having fun um, doing what you love to do each and every day. So if you currently do not practice affirmations, start by writing them on a sticky note and post them around your house. Or maybe you invest in an app where you speak and replay them each and every day. So when the pandemic first started and I had to really pivot and shift, um, I'm a creature of habit and it was very hard for me to shift. Um, I used an app called the Think Up app where you actually speak your affirmations into the app. It records you and then you can play it to yourself. So it's kind of a fun automated way um, to work on those affirmations and have them in your ear as you're doing laundry or getting ready for your morning or something like that. So that is um, a tool that I use um, primarily then and now it's more sticky notes and stuff like that. So, but that was an awesome way for me to really tell myself that I'm gonna get through this. So just a little tip for you. 
But you guys, your energy and enthusiasm about what you do every single day is super impactful. And it's also your superpower. Okay. People are attracted to positive energy. There's not there. I mean, you can't refute that. Right. So one of my favorite quotes is your vibe attracts your tribe. And I have this super cool mug that, um, Tracy Fixing gave me um, after we met and we talked about your vibe attracts your tribe. And so I love this mug and it reminds me all the time that what I exude is what I attract, right? So it is my mantra. And I must say that I literally have the best, no drama, super fun team on the planet. Like for real, they rock my socks off like each and every day. So they're such a great crew, love them so much, but I truly believe it's that vibe that I put out, <clears throat> which attracted my tribe, right? So like how amazing though, guys, is it that we get to pick the people that we get to work with each and every day? I find that having a grateful heart really generates enthusiasm for our life. Every day, I thank God for this business, the people I get to work with. And I really believe that having a practice of gratitude is a game changer. I've used the Start Today journal. I also have Danelle Delgado's um, I Choose Joy journal. I kind of go back and forth between the two because they're a little bit different. But even a plain notebook would be amazing. So, you know, when you begin to find gratitude in just the simple things in life, your energy will change. I promise you, your energy will change. And when your energy changes, you feel better, right? You become more confident. You stand up straighter. And life is going to be happening for you, not to you. I'm sure you guys have heard that before, where instead of you being like, oh, woe is me, I had a confrontation or um, you know, this member, this, or, you know, my team member that instead look at them as opportunities for growth, look at them as opportunities for you to learn something from that not so comfortable situation. Right. And so I really want you guys to, to really think about that. And when you pour into yourself and you have that gratitude and you look at opportunities in life as opportunities to learn what happens to you becomes a lot different in how you look at that. So how do you take this energy and turn it into sales and growing your business, right? I mean, that's all why we're here, right? So you have to share it. You have to share your energy inside your social media channels. You heard Chris, he looks on my social media and he knew that I was already working out for the day. Um, you know, my sweaty selfie and he looked forward to that. So that was something that endeared me to him, right? And so same thing I want you guys to think about when you're trying to endear yourself to other people, when you're trying to attract your tribe. So what do I actually mean by sharing. So share your daily activities, your favorite YouTube workout for those of us that are still home and maybe not in the gym or share your gym workout, um, a sweaty selfie with your partner next to you in class. Maybe it's your favorite Peloton instructor, a daily devotional. I do that very often. Where's my, I don't have it with me, but um, I do a daily devotional every day, Joyce Meyers daily devotional. And it's amazing. And I, I post it in there and people are like, I start conversations that way. They're like, who is that? What's your, who is the author of that? Where'd you get that? Oh, thank you so much. I needed that today, you know? So it could be a sweaty selfie, a new smoothie recipe, what you had for lunch. Maybe it's a new grocery item you found at Harris Teeter, well, I have Harris Teeter, or Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. You know, maybe what's in your kid's lunch. Of course, my teenagers pack their own lunch now and I'm kind of like this. But um, when I was younger um, and had my kids were younger, that was actually how I really did a lot of um, trust building. And when I started my business, I literally did probably six months worth of cataloging my kids' lunches um, on social. And I actually really built a lot of trust around that with moms in the business. So, um, so that was really cool. Um, a little tip, um, your favorite energizing tea, or maybe it's just a photo of you holding like above your sink, your hydrating serum because winter skin is the pits. Right. Um, but it's just these little things. And it's not me telling you guys to like, stop your day and like, get your camera and take all these photos. It's about just incorporating what you're doing and then taking a quick picture and putting your phone away. And then you deal with your stories. We're going to talk about later. So I really want you guys to think about that. It's just sharing what you do day in and day out, because let's face it, people are nosy and people are curious, but they're also super powerful consumers, right? We all know that they are, we are in a consumer environment. So people want what you have and they love to try new things that may give them results. So I really want you guys to remember that. Don't um, discount you sharing something that you love um, each and every day. And it doesn't have to be Shackley. I actually prefer that you do more than Shackley um, products as well so that you are multidimensional, okay? So in my honest opinion, stories are the best 
and the easiest way to show your face and your enthusiasm to a very captive audience. So like Anna Hone said on our national broadcast a few weeks ago, show your face doing the thing, right? So don't hide behind your phone and um, not show your face, okay? Do a sweaty selfie, um, you know, show yourself making lunch or hold up your smoothie, you know, whatever the case may be, like keep it real, right? And even if you don't look great and don't have your makeup on, who cares? Take a look at my feed, you guys will feel way better. Um, this was a lot of effort today. Um, but if you guys want to make a living, uh, if you guys wanna make living healthy, you have to make it look fun make it look delicious and make it look rewarding. And when you do that, people will want to join you as members and business partners. I guarantee you, again, if you want to make a healthy living, you have to make it look fun, delicious and rewarding. Okay, those are three really important things. So this year, um, talking about my team, we're gonna really get good at sharing testimonials from our Prove It Challengers and also our Prove It Challenges. So I truly feel that testimonials are the key to attracting new people. And we always need to be getting new people, right? We talked about that a little bit last week in Danelle's call where people are like, how can I raise the dead? Like talk to those members that haven't ordered in a while. You can go down that path, but new people are where it's at for sure. So if you guys don't follow Dana Deegan, my sister, who's amazing, she's the queen of collecting testimonials and getting her groups to share their non-scale victories. Do you just love that word victory? I sure do. So I, so as you know, non-scale wins or non-scale victories many times resonate way more powerfully than the actual scale. I'm sure most of us can agree. And most of us are here in this business about true wellness. So it's not necessarily about the scale. It's about how we're sleeping, how we're feeling, if we can think clearly, you know, all these different things, we're less stressed, less migraines, that type of thing. So you guys need to share these things loud and proud. I believe that we do not celebrate ourselves enough um, or the results that we provide. So I want you guys to really think about it, like start sharing everything. Maybe that's a mantra. I'm going to start sharing everything. Um, you know, I know we're a super humble bunch. We really are. The Shackley field is one of a kind, but guys, your testimonial may be the trigger to change someone else's health around. So maybe it's your testimonial or your client's testimonial or somebody inside your team's, um, prove it challenge, their testimonial, because we all know that out there, like you see other, other wellness influencers post all these, you know, before and afters, and they don't really have like a it's usually just like image and weight, right? It's not about really how they're like changing healthy habits and they're creating, you know, this new life because they have more energy or they're sleeping better, better than they slept in years. Like that stuff resonates with people, especially in today's day and age with over-marketing of, you know, weight loss and stuff like that. So I really want you guys to think about that and really ask your, your members and your challengers to just write you up a write you up a testimonial and gather them inside your groups and screenshot them. And then you have them for yourself later to, you know, maybe make pretty in Canva. So anyway, just think about that and maybe make it one of your goals as well. Um, but the same goes for your team. Celebrate all of your successes, even the little teeny tiny ones. Someone gets a piece of new swag. Talk about it. It's fun, right? It shows your enthusiasm for the business opportunity. Um, some of you may not have a large team, so celebrate your upline, celebrate your downlines celebrate your sidelines, you know, just talk about their success in the business. Talk about being a part of the key team or a new master team or brag about who you get to work with each and every day. Like we have the smartest pediatrician on our team, Dr. Michelle, like I love working with her. She's such an integral part of our team. We have trainers, you know, we've got Dana as a dietitian. you know, I talk about that, brag about that when I'm talking to people and what kind of value they're going to get out of our groups with who is part of my team. People want to know who you're playing with, right? So talk about it. They want to know, what am I going to be a part of? Who are these people? So I want you to really think about that as well. So, okay. I know that this probably all sounds great, right? But maybe it's hard for you to find the enthusiasm to like get her done, right? So chances are you're probably struggling with a positive mindset or you're, or maybe you're living by how you're feeling, right? So I'm feeling this way, therefore I'm living this way. And as Joyce Meyer would say, well then give your feelings a kick in the can. <laughs> I was like, she's hysterical. So the only way to turn that around is to dig into personal development. And I know you guys have heard this time and time again, but honestly, it's what you gotta do. If your mindset isn't where you think it should be and ask somebody, you think that I'm like, 
resonating positive vibes and energy? Like, could I improve? Like, what do I need to do? And really it lies inside the, inside the yeah, cover, inside the books and also podcasts from, in my opinion. So, um, some of my, I wanted to share some of my favorite books, um, for mindset primarily, these aren't necessarily business books, but obviously they go hand in hand. So my favorite books, and I'll try to read them slow. I know I talk fast. Um, and we'll put them in the comments too, is you are a badass by Jen Sincero. Love that book. She has several in a series. Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, amazing, game changer. 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma will make you think a lot. Radical Leap, same concept as 5 a.m. Club. Again, incredible storytelling, amazing. And then also The Circle Maker by Mark Batterson. So awesome reads. They were a part of the beginning of my journey in this business when I needed personal development more more than ever. So really, really awesome. So another really cool tool is to actually watch the Miracle Morning documentary. So it's so, so good. So Hal Elrod actually, well, I won't give away a whole thing, but there's a whole story behind it, but just Google the Miracle Morning documentary. Um, one of my teammates just watched it um, late last week and she said she was blown away and her husband watched it and they're changing up some things and she's so excited. So I really advise you to start there if you're new to personal development or even if you're a veteran, um, take a look at that document and it'll really change some things. It's also very timely being that we're at the first part of the new year. So let me know if you guys uh, take a look at that too. Um, and then if you're more of a podcast person, um, I really enjoy the Brendan show. Brendan Bernard is like the bomb. Um, also the mindset mentor, uh, the John Maxwell leadership podcast, love that man. And also achieve your goals by Hal Elrod. You've heard Hal's name like three times. He's been quite influential in my life. So those are just some fun, um, really just mind altering, mind shifting reads that I would really recommend if you feel that you're struggling in this area of your business. Okay. Um, and of course our weekly training by Del now, Danelle Delgado. So I mean, legit, how amazing is she? Sure. Her, her personality and coaching style is just amazing. I just absolutely love it. So if you haven't taken the time to listen to her trainings, I really encourage you to do so, or just jump in the next time, which I believe is probably next week, um, into her training. You guys will not regret it. And don't feel like you're missing a whole bunch of other stuff. Just jump in. Um, don't, don't freeze and not do anything because you haven't been listening, but it's pretty clear that if Roger is willing to invest thousands into online training with a Forbes 10 influencer, it's necessary uh, for our you know, growth in this industry. So take advantage of that amazing training. Um, all right, guys. So you guys know I like love quotes. So here's another one that I absolutely love. So John Maxwell says that growth is the greatest separator between those who succeed and those who do not. And when he sees a person beginning to separate themselves from the pack, it's almost always due to personal growth. Um, that's pretty profound. And I bet if you start seeing people who are breaking away from the pack and they are rank advancing, ask them how they're doing it. And I guarantee you that they're gonna tell you it's personal development. So I absolutely love that. And I love John Maxwell. If you are in a leadership position in Shackley, um, highly, highly recommend his reads. I wasn't really ready for him when I first started in this business, but I certainly am now and have been for years. Um, so just a, a great resource in, as far as leadership is concerned. All right, guys, here's the, another big question. Um, what are you guys currently doing to improve your health? Like for real, like, I don't just mean taking the Shackley shelf and drinking light shake. Um, there is so much more to health than supplements and shakes. And because we're health wellness influencers, we need to model that. So let me ask you this. When's the last time you participated in the seven day cleanse? Or maybe you challenge yourself to drink more water or get more sleep or walk 10,000 steps a day, um, you know, to get that neat movement. Um, maybe you're a terrible cook and you know that, you know that your health starts in the kitchen. So why not try two new recipes a week? Because you know that by doing is the only way that you're going to actually get better. You guys, we need to create our own health transformation and success stories. So maybe you're not a runner but you want to be. So register for a 5k, do a couch to 5k and share your progress with your audience, right? You don't have to lose 50 pounds guys to inspire others. And I'm going to say this out loud and Dana's going to freak when she hears this, but personally, I decided this morning that because of two women in my life, it's not Dana, um, one person on my team and one person on social media that I'm going to do the 75 hard challenge. If anybody's heard of that 
talk about it in the comments. Um, but look it up. It's all about discipline. And if you know me really well, you'll know that I have lots of energy, but I lack a little bit in discipline and I need it. Um, and I know that that's my weakness. Um, you guys may think I have it together, but I have a lot of room for improvement in this area. So um, you know that I'm going to end up talking about it, right? 75 hard. And I'm going to share for accountability, okay? It's going to be hard for me, but I'm going to definitely do it. So follow me uh, and you'll be able to see that um, as I progress through my 75 hard. So another quote, shocker. Um, Albert Einstein said, setting an example isn't the main means of influencing others. It's the only means. Did you get that? Setting an example isn't the main means of influencing others. It's the only means. I mean, guys, seriously, like we have to just do the thing, right? We have to set an example, not only for our kids, right? Our spouses, um, but our teammates and also the field and also, you know, our prospective clients. When you set the example, that is how you influence other people. You have to be doing the thing. So we must be growing in our health journey if we want to help others do the same with theirs, right? We have to be a motivator. We have to be someone fun to watch. And we have to be a role model, like hands down. There's just no other way of getting around it. So without a doubt, this takes a decision. It takes discipline. And it takes action. So we must align our activities with our goals to grow and attract new members and business partners. Um, Sean Gray always says, if you're stuck, find new right? New goals, new business builders, new members to coach. But to attract new, we must change our activities, correct? You cannot be the same and do the same each and every day if you want to grow. You have to break out of your comfort zone. So I encourage you guys to figure that out. What's it going to take? Um, okay, so now that you're going to dig into personal development, you're going to create a new health transformation or goal and you're gonna start creating some killer energy and unstoppable enthusiasm. So now it's time to share it with the world on Facebook and Instagram stories. So you are going to share your new workouts. You're gonna share your new goal. You're gonna share your smoothies and the recipe because you're gonna add value to your members. So they have something to take away and actually utilize. Maybe it's a lunch date with a friend. So you show flexibility in your business, um, your daily devotional, a team team meeting Zoom photo. So I'm notorious for, hey guys, smile. Um, you know, so that too, recognizing, you know, success on your team, all of this stuff needs to reside in your stories. It may sound overwhelming, but even if you do a couple of them a day, it's fine. People just need to see you doing the thing. Okay, so you do the stories. So what do you do after the story? So you take note at who is following you and you connect with them. This is the easiest way that I have found to connect with people. Easiest, 100%. So you thank them for popping into your stories and you ask them a question. So this is what I would say. Hey, Sally, thanks for popping into my stories. Do you have a favorite Peloton instructor? Or hey, Sally, thanks for popping into my stories. Do you drink smoothies? What's your favorite daily devotional? You know, because chances are, if they've followed you through several several slides of a similar topic, you just pop in and say, hey, thanks for following me. Do you have X, Y, Z, right? And then if you start a conversation, because not everybody will reply to you and that's okay, don't take it personally, um, go and connect on their stories and posts. So see what they're talking about and post on it and give them some love. And then you add them to your tracker, Okay add them to the great success tracker that Anna Hone introduced to us um, over the broadcast. So after two to three interactions, this is how I operate, um, and you see them following your stories consistently, um, and they're also gaining knowledge from you because you're providing value, ask them if they have a favorite supplement or if they take vitamins. Let them answer and invite them to take the myology quiz. So chances are when people are getting value from you in terms of like, links to workouts, um, recipes, um, maybe it's a, a valuable quote from Dr. Hyman from his um, social, so, social feed. When you ask them to do something back, they will oblige, okay? And especially if you tell them it's, you know, there's no, um, you know, no requirement to purchase, but just, you know, and then ask them, you know, let us know how, let me know how, you're, how the recommendations stack up to what you currently use and just ask them. And then that opens up a conversation 
um, remind them that they need to check the box so that you can kind of differentiate and decipher kind of what their needs might be and then have the conversation. But you guys, you know, it's a process. Don't expect that the first time you like do this process that you're going to like get them to take the neology quiz like that. Like it's not going to happen, but you have to build that trust and you have to have a little bit of patience, but you also have to be persistent and consistent, right? So the same process works when you brag on your team or your uplines or your sidelines. Show how proud you are to work with these awesome people. And again, see who follows through and who, and, and then message them and say, hey, Sally, thanks for popping into my stories. Um, have you ever thought about, well, maybe what I'd say is um, something that's to the nature of, you know, do you miss working, um, working in an office or do you miss having a team or something of that nature when it comes to a team? Um, and then ask them, you know, eventually maybe those, you know, second to third connection, um, ask them if they've ever thought about joining a tribe of like-minded people to improve their own health and help others as well. I ask people all the time, the minute I have a conversation with somebody, um, where they're really digging into their health, um, I straight up ask them to join my team. I just did that with a track mom the other day, who's on a health journey and I, she didn't even buy a Shackley product ever. And she joined my team. So I just said, you're amazing. You're, I love your journey. I love who you are. You have such a great heart. Like, let's chat. So we had a couple calls and she's like, I'm in. I'm like, sweet. So again, that just ask. People are flattered. Even if they say no or it's not the right time, keep them on your list. You never know when they're going to be ready. Um, and also, it's free to join the business this month, right? So we only have 13 days until this offer is over. So most of your posts should be business related, okay, between today and the end of the month. Now, um, Kevin just showed us a ton of tools that we can use um, to be able to get some curiosity and add kind of in between some of our personal team posts and then some, some use some of the um, posting um, stories that Shackley's provided as statistics and different quotes and promotions and stuff like that. But, you know, talk about your accomplishments. It's just, this doesn't have to be about your rank. Um, but the people that you get to help and the community that you're a part of, this is when you get to brag on your team. Um, share some fun facts about Shackley. Again, use those tools that Kevin talked about. Um, talk about all the boss babes that are leaving other companies to come over to Shackley, right? Um, be bold about your decision to become a wellness influencer. Like it's the best in the world. So you got to talk about it. Um, so keep a running list of those people who are giving you the love you know, on all of these business posts, but also, you know, it's now time to set up an online event or Zoom event for the business opportunity. Um, and you guys need to start inviting. So obviously we've got team up, we've got, you know, the weekend of action. So my suggestion, so it's not overwhelming, is that you collaborate with another leader or two and do it together. You don't have to think that this all has to be on you. I really suggest that you guys reach out beyond your bubble and ask them to, to team up with you. It's actually so much fun. I've been doing so much of that recently in my Shackley business with other sideline leaders, and it's been an, an incredible um, opportunity. So I really want to encourage you guys to do that. But it's going to be an awesome weekend of action, but you guys have to do a lot of the work prior to the weekend of action. You guys got to get your list together, start inviting, and then you kind of feed into what's going to happen during that weekend of action. So, you know, lots of sense of urgency during that weekend. So the power is totally in recruiting early in the year, right? Because you guys want to give your team so much more time to advance and grow, which is obviously the goal of 2022. All right, guys. So that was a lot and I talk a lot. But to recap, I want to just say a few things to recap what I all covered. You guys need to find your energy and your enthusiasm, okay? How are you going to do that? Ask yourself, if I were not me, would I want to be doing business with me? Would I want me to be my coach, okay? Become the person that you want to be, okay? Find the energy and enthusiasm, dig into personal development, create an affirmation and a gratitude practice. Those that, that would be another one. Level up your health somehow. Again, I want to really stress this. It's not about finishing an Ironman, okay? It can be as simple as committing to 10,000 steps a day because you want to get in more neat movement. If you haven't looked up neat movement, N-E-A-T, look it up. Um, and you know, who knows, maybe following you and they're going to ask to join you, like take a photo of your steps every day, um, as your daily accountability, you know, in your stories and see who's like, you know what? I really need that. Will you be my accountability partner? You know, or maybe that's an opener of somebody who's following you doing these 10,000 steps every day. Hey, Sue, I, I, thanks for popping in my stories. Um, do you get 10,000 steps a day in? You want to join me? You want to be my accountability partner? 
Hey, how about that for an opener for a conversation, right? So share your day um, each and every day and how you're leveling up. Don't forget your face. Um, also connect with those who follow your stories and track them on your systems for success tracker. That's the tracker, the one pager that Anna shared with us um, a couple weeks ago. And then talk about the business a lot over the next two weeks, guys. Begin inviting to the weekend of action, um, your business opportunity event, because you are going to host one, right? Of course you are. Um, but guys, I believe in you. Um, you can totally do hard things. Um, and when you choose to get uncomfortable, like I'm going to choose to do too, you're not alone. Um, amazing things are totally about to happen, including your growth. So thank you guys so much for having me today.